Lucky. How's it going guys? I'm Lucky7. This video that you're watching is how to program your Hopper or Joey remote to the TV that you have. I actually work for Dish Network right now when I'm not posting videos to YouTube or playing Black Ops or whatever so I know how to get to all the menus and know how to program the remote. This process will only work for the, the Hopper and Joey systems or if you have the 922. The 922 is a little bit different though. Um, I have a Hopper and Joey. It's a similar process. You just have to find the settings in it. So first off, you're going to want to grab your remote. Make sure it's in satellite mode. Okay, first off. The second process you're going to want to do is hit this little menu button right below the satellite button. It's menu. Once you press that, it's going to bring you to the main menu. I know these menus. I've seen a ton, a ton, a ton before. Um, so what you're going to do is arrow down and to the right over to your settings button. Go ahead and hit, hit the select button in the middle of your arrows. Okay, That's going to bring you to your settings. Now on the far right of the screen, it's your remote manager. This is where you're going to program your remote to your TV, to your auxiliary, anything like that. I'm not going to go over all those, but just the TV for this video. Go ahead and hit select on your remote and it's going to bring you to your remote manager menu. Your cursor gonna, is going to default to the TV code. Okay, so what you're going to do is go ahead and hit select on your remote. It's going to bring you to a new menu. Um, go ahead and hit lookup code. It's going to generate all of the codes that are automatically downloaded into the hopper, and we're going to search by brand. Okay, so go ahead and hit select on lookup code. Don't know all of these, so let me turn around real quick. On the left side of the screen, it's sort by. If you don't see your brand in the more popular categories, go ahead and find it alphabetically. Whether you have a Magnavox or a Zenith or anything like that, you can find it per category. Most, I haven't found a TV that isn't listed in here yet. So fortunately for me, my TV, my LG is listed in the more popular. So go ahead and highlight it and go ahead and hit uh, next. Now it's going to download a bunch of the TV codes to your hopper and you're going to see this screen. What this is asking you to do is test out your remote to see if this code works for your remote. Really simple, all you got to do is hit the volume up and down, hit your, men, or your mute and see if it works for your TV. You can see in this case it does. Most of the time the first two, three codes are going to work for you. If your code, if your remote doesn't work to your TV, your volume doesn't work or anything like that, go ahead and select no and it'll cycle through to the next code and download the next one. If it does, go ahead and hit yes. It'll bring you back to this menu and then you're going to want to hit save. And it's that easy. Now your remote is programmed to your box or to your TV and your box. Really simple guys, really easy, that's it. Biggest thing, just make sure that your remote is uh, in satellite mode, that way you can navigate through the menus and make sure you have good batteries. If you don't have good batteries, go ahead and change those out. You can usually tell by lighting up the satellite button and seeing if, the, if it lights up green. If it's a little faded, it means your batteries are dying. Other than that guys, it's that simple. Congratulations on pairing up your remote to your TV. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to comment. Other than that, I'm Lucky7. I'm out.